famous sights and neon lights, the glitz and the grit. Could there be a better American home for Australia's rugby league? Vegas, any excuse to come to Vegas, any excuse, but it's, look at the Aussie invasion, look at that, it's just Aussies everywhere, it's amazing. Ahead of a season opening spectacle, players and fans have taken over downtown Las Vegas. This is the NRL's biggest bet yet. Dreams of capturing a new audience in a sports mad nation of more than 300 million people. It's a big ask to fill Allegiant Stadium's 65,000 seats and to get Americans through the gates. A concurrent Rugby Nines competition in Vegas was a way to lure local league players to the city. You know, I've been watching it on Instagram and you know, YouTube, but being there in the stadium, I know the energy is going to be wild. Um, I mean, this is my Super Bowl, so I can't wait for it. We gotta get it to the A fledgling grassroots competition is slowly gathering speed. It's fast. I, I think it allows more opportunity for creativity, really bringing the, the NRL here and allowing the Americans to see the game live is truly important for the growth of the game. You're watching Rugby League Nines. Marketing strategist and fan Dustin Zerr was roped into commentating. San Diego takes the ball back. Good move. He's something of an ambassador for the game. For me, it, it is kind of the intensity of the sport. It's, it is, it's fast paced, it's action packed. The NRL wants to convert new fans into new revenue. Las Vegas is synonymous with gambling. And until recently, it was one of the only places in America where you could legally bet on sports. But that's changing quickly, making the NRL's play for America all the more attractive. More than 30 states have legalised sports betting since a Supreme Court decision struck down previous laws. Gambling has boomed, with online sports books proliferating. The NRL wants to lock in an exclusive US partner, which would mean big bucks. We want to make sure that we partner with the right partner. And again, a partner that's going to help us win new fans. That's the key thing. A local broadcast deal alone would rely on an appetite from American viewers, which could be tough to achieve. Former St George player David New moved to America years ago and has always thought league could work here. I think to do anything great and anything grand, you've got to take big risks for big rewards. I think it's a fantastic opportunity for anyone who knows a little bit about rugby league to really get excited. Whether or not it pays off, it's sure to be a big show. Emily Grimens, ABC News, Las Vegas.